sorry guys, I have to like pose in the beginning now so that I can have a a picture. Anyway, hey guys, welcome back to Prim Pure Life. I hope you're all doing really well today. If you're new to my channel, my name is Lauren and welcome here. I have my Ipsy bag for you guys. Um, if you're unfamiliar, Ipsy is a monthly subscription service and it's $10 a month and you get a little bag of goodies each month, makeup items, brushes, sometimes hair stuff, perfume, that sort of thing. It's been around for a while. You can go check out their website. Um, I have always enjoyed the bags that I've gotten. Um, they're usually really, really cute. I just signed up again in February. Uh, it was actually my husband's Valentine's gift to me. Um, I, I sign up at different times. Like, What's nice about it is you can cancel it at any time. So even if you just want to do it for a couple of months, you can and then cancel it. Um, so if it's not fitting into your budget, then you can, you know, you don't have to stick with it. But um, I've done it, I did it for a whole year. Um, I think it was like two years ago. And then I took a break and then I did it for like, a few months and then I took a break and now I think I'm gonna just stay on it for a while because I really do like it this was last um, month's bag this was February's bag and I don't actually have this stuff in here anymore but I just wanted to show you you get these cute little bags each month and you get five different um, goodies inside so it comes in this really cute pink bubble mailer and I'm sure a lot of you know what ipsy is but just in case I wanted to um, let you know what it was and this is what this month's but this is for March and it says and off she went to change the world it's really cute it's like a rose gold kind of faux leather and I like that the little um, the little zipper pull is a star I think that's really cute and the zipper is blue the back is just uh, doesn't have the writing on it and something that is new to me since I've been doing Ipsy again is that they now give you actual information about all of the things that you get in the bag before it was just kind of a card that said what was in like what the theme was but it wouldn't tell you like about each item and I don't know if they put prices I don't think they put prices, but it does give a little blurb about each thing. And I already know what's in my bag because they send out spoilers and I like to check because I have no patience. But the theme for this month is National Women's History Month. And it just says, to celebrate, we loaded up our March glam bag with female founded brands and girl boss staples. Learn about these uh, trailblazing founders plus everything you need to know about your five hashtag Ipsy Shiro products on Ipsy.com or the Ipsy app. This is one, this one's for all the women out there running the show, making herstory. <laughs> they have herstory instead of history. And helping us look beep good along the way. I'm not gonna, I don't want to swear, but it just says that. Anyway, um, nothing against you if you do. I just, I don't really like to um <laughs> flip for more and then in here it has all the things and it just says here's some quick helpful hints about your five march glam picks four step-by-step -step photos videos reviews and more head to ipsy.com or our app and it says wait there's more in the back just has some more information i'm not going to read through all of that but i'm really excited for what i got this week or this month so the first thing, I'll just pull things out at random. Oh, the inside of the bag is pink too, which I think is really cool. The first thing I'm very excited for, my hair is a hot blooming mess. Look at this. I need to get highlights done. My sister is a um, cosmetologist, which I am very blessed in that because um, she does my hair for me and my nails and stuff. Uh oh, I have a friend. What? I love you. What is it? True? Why? Let me see. Did you poke it? Come here. Let me see. Let me see. Did you poke it? 
It looks like you irritated it. Don't poke it, okay? No, I No, how about you say hi and then you go get in bed? Hmm. Okay. Hi. It's nap time now. Go, please. Remember, we get to go to the library tonight and Dollar Tree if you're a good listener. Can you close mommy's door? Not all the way. Leave it cracked. Yep, that's good. Yep, leave it cracked. Go get in your bed. I raised my kid right. He loves the Dollar Tree. <laughs> that's like the highlight. Not the highlight of his week, but he loves it. Anyway, what I was saying is my sister is a cosmetologist and um, she does, she's actually a nail tech is what she specializes in, but she does hair and she's really good at makeup and stuff like that. So I've been on her case about starting a YouTube channel forever because she's like so gifted when it comes to makeup and um, nails and stuff like that. So anyway, she highlights my hair for me for free of charge, which I really, really appreciate um, because it's expensive to get your hair highlighted, if you know. Um, so I just have to make a time with her. But anyway, it's kind of, I just washed it this morning and I'll be completely honest with you guys, this is typical Lauren hairdo right here. Like this is what you get pretty much every day. Um, I let my hair air dry and I'll like put it up in a clip. I don't even have a clip here to show you, but I get those like Dollar Tree, the rainbow colored hair clips, you know, that are meant for like straightening your hair. I put my hair up in one of those. <laughs> That's what I do because I'm a stay at home mom. I don't have to look fancy. So anyway, um, I did do my makeup though. I do usually do my makeup every day and I usually do paint my nails all the time, but my hair, I just, I can't be bothered most of the time. Anyway, um, this is the sand and sky and it's kind of written weird. Um, Australian pink clay and let me read the little blurb about this so it says this brand was founded by sisters who share a passion for using rare Australian ingredients in skincare made with light pink Australian clay this mask tightens pores nixes excess oil and leaves your skin feeling so smooth I'm really excited because I actually don't have any face masks right now and I usually have a couple on hand but um I get kind of, you know, the typical clogged pores, so I'm really excited to use this. I'll probably use it tonight. And I was going to see, I don't want to put any on my hand because I don't want to waste it, and it's not a very big, like, tube, but I did want to see if it had a good smell. It just kind of smells fresh, like soap, sort of. It doesn't smell stinky or anything, but I think the packaging is really cute. All right, next up we have something I was also very excited for. I love when you get high-end products in your Ipsy bag. Um, this is the Tarte, excuse me, Man Eater Mascara. And how stinking cute is this packaging? I love that light lavender purple with the gold cheetah print. And it's, I think it's just in the shade black, but it says here Tarte's committed to creating products that are cruelty free, which is awesome, and made with good for you ingredients. The Inky Black formula, yes it is black, is um, features a flexible brush that coats even your teeniest lashes. Jojoba and Carnuba wax, Caranuba wax, I don't know if I'm saying that right, uh, strengthens and protects your lashes and helps prevent flaking. Um, my favorite mascara of all time that I've ever tried is actually Tarte Light ca Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. It's, whoa, sorry, I'm shaking my little desk. It's still my favorite. I don't buy high-end mascaras, you guys, unless it's like a Christmas gift. So this will be a treat. I'm really excited. I might even save this for travel. Um, putting together a little travel bag for the summer. I'm hoping that we're gonna get up to see my in-laws this summer. I don't know if it'll happen. I really want to. We used to go up in July to visit them for Canada Day and it kind of coincides with our July 4th holiday here in the States and it's always so much fun just to get up there. Um, they live in a really nice area that there's like fun touristy things to do. There's a beach nearby. Well, it's a lake, but you know what I mean and it's fun. So um, yeah, I hope that we can go up. 
uh, we'll see how things go with the finances, but um, we are going to be seeing them this coming weekend, which I'm excited about. And Liam's very excited to see his Oma and Opa. Anyway, okay, moving on. Sorry guys, I'm babbling. Lottie London Shiver Squad Highlighter in Good Girl came in this cute little box. I like the name Lottie London and I like how they do their eye with a little heart. So this, oh, it's one of those um, in like a pan. I don't love when they do this just because I don't have a Z palette. However, I was looking on the Shop Miss A website. They sell little Z palettes and I'm thinking about getting one because you oftentimes will get just like pans like this from Ipsy and I, I get why they do it. It does save packaging like uh, costs on plastic and stuff, but they're still having to do a little clamshell thing here. But anyway, let's open this up if I can. Oh. Okay. so. I don't want to break it. Um, it does have the name on the sticker here on the back, but it's not on the back of the pan. So I bet you could peel that off and stick it on there if you needed to. But this is what the highlighter looks like. And I love highlighter. There's a little swatch. Oh, that's pretty. It's like a very typical champagne color, if I'm being honest, but it feels very creamy and smooth. And that's a really good size. Um, for, I don't know if that's a full size. Let's see, it says Insta Beauty Addict, question mark. Lottie London is inspired by vloggers, bloggers, and street style stars you love from Instagram. The champagne uh, highlighter, which is what I said, finds your best light. The ultra blendable powder formula goes on evenly and gives out of this world no filter required. Out of this world glow, no filter required. So I'm excited to use that. My favorite highlighting powders are actually the Flower Beauty Shimmer and Strobe Palette. I love that. I still have it and have been using it and really enjoying it, but I always like trying out new highlighters. Next, oh, I already pulled this out. Next is this little eyeshadow, and I think that this packaging is so cute. Look at the pineapples and the little uh, flamingos, and this is Ibby Beauty, and it's poolside. Ibby Lush eyeshadows are highly pigmented, buttery, and blendable shades infused with rosehip seed oil for skin protecting properties. I've never heard of this brand. I've heard of Lottie London because I know they sell that at um, at Ulta. So this is what the shadow looks like and I have the shade Get Soaked and it is vegan and cruelty free which is pretty cool and I love this little compact think it's adorable <laughs> and this is the color and this is right up my alley I love pinky rosy eyeshadows and it looks to be I think like oh it's really creamy you guys oh my goodness it's so creamy um it's so soft oh that's oh that's so pretty okay I'm having a moment uh for those of you with like a deeper complexion if you get this I think this would be a pretty blush too don't you think I mean, I guess I could make it work. It might be a little bit too much for me, but for an eyeshadow, I love these type of shades for crease, uh, like a transition shade or even just a quick eyeshadow look all over the lid, kind of blended out up into the crease. And it is more of a satin, I would say even a matte, but it has just a touch of a sheen to it. So let's go with a, with a satin finish. I don't know if it says here. Okay, it says this rosy pink, Velvet Shadow is a staple for our kit for creating a sheer wash of gorgeous color. What's what's more, the formula is vegan, free of talc, mineral oil, and parabens. It is infused with rose, rose hip seed oil to help protect the delicate skin on your eyelids, which is awesome. And then the very last thing in here is a brush, and this is one of my favorite things to get in Ipsy bags. It comes in this little packaging. And um, I love getting the brushes because they're always really good quality. And I got one in last month's bag and I love it. It's a powder brush. This is an eyeshadow brush and it's so stinking cute. Look at the handle. It's like clear acrylic and it has suspended um, like rose gold glitter. And then it has two little rhinestones here. This is, yeah, SL Miss Glam and it's the short shader brush. It kind of reminds me of the um, 
bristles on the wet n wild brushes but it's really it feels really soft i'm very excited to add this to my collection so that is everything i hope that you guys enjoyed um i'm gonna cut the video off here so it's not too terribly long it's already 15 minutes but i love you guys remember as always that you are beautiful you are special unique and loved and no one can tell you any different and i will talk to you guys later bye